what I think is so interesting is this particular study is what set you off on oh, your yes. on your journey, and it's what supported the work that you were doing. It's what protected you. Mm -hmm. um, it's what protected your team, and. As a result, an unexpected result, you ended up having uh, a transformational health event, oh, as yes. did your engineer on yeah, the well, project, Gary. Well Yeah, because we were using it during the experimentation, and I thought, you know, I kept using it afterwards. It had I had a little bit more energy, you know, my metal focus was better, maybe digestion was, you know, better, right? But it was I was just kept using it. I wasn't totally faithful to it. And and you that, were kind of intermittent. You weren't yeah, exactly. necessarily like <clears throat> every strict day. every single day. Yeah, and so uh, <clears throat> so what I, I went into my eye doctor about seven to eight months after I started using C60, and my Druze or dry macular degeneration and completely disappeared. Mm -hmm. And my eye doctor had never seen that happen in his entire career, yeah. right? And, but mine was pretty mild and it only happened once. Well, in the meantime, my electrical engineer, Gary Rodriguez, had developed severe wet macular degeneration. That means he had like, and we used to be able to post this pictures and they're before and after pictures. And I basically, because he had the type two, Rodriguez, he had type two diabetes. I put the C. I found a way to put C60 in MCT oil. Mm -hmm. With MCTs are medium chain triglycerides, and they're actually turned by your. Uh, they're turned in your by your body into uh, into uh, ketones, very by your liver very quickly, which is a flex fuel for your body. So, if you people that have glucose processing issues, they know that uh, you know you can't get f energy into your body because your your cells aren't absorbing the glucose. Well, your cells can absorb ketones. Mm -hmm. And so having MCT oil ketones in your blood, as well as the C60, is really important. And uh, and Gary is like an engineer, right? He'll he'll go out and walk the dog, and he actually measures how <laughs> many minutes it took him to walk the dog every yeah. day. Every day he has a log for that. So he kept very s distinct records, and he found that like a, t a tablespoon of C60, he's in his 60s, late 60s, a day uh, for one year completely got rid of his wet macular degeneration, okay. completely gone. And that's just impossible because it's supposedly it's not supposed to happen. Of yeah. course, other other amazing, quote, miraculous, miraculous healings uh, happened with C60. But the main thing that we know about nerve cells, the retina is part of the nerve cells. Mm -hmm. The retina has lots of mitochondria. One of the things that C60 is, it's an SOD catalase mimic. SOD is superoxide dismutase and catalase together get rid of superoxide, which is the most damaging oxidative radical in the body. And it's what's mostly produced in the mitochondria. It's produced elsewhere, but really a lot in the mitochondria. So C60 optimizes your mitochondria function. And, uh, and that's important. Whereas in the radiation, C60 takes care of the hydroxyl ion, which is produced in a lot of places, but not a lot in the mitochondria, but all throughout the cell. And, and of course, C60 is all throughout the cell. So it protects you against superoxide and the hydroxyl ion, which are the only two things that C60 protects against. It doesn't protect against other oxidative radicals, which your body uses as signaling molecules mm -hmm. like hydrogen peroxide, yeah. nitrogen oxide that dilates, contracts your capillaries, very important for guys, and uh, some others <laughs> based around sulfur, iron, and zinc. And, uh, and that's why C60 is the only antioxidant known which actually can increase athletic performance. Well, we've covered a lot, and I feel like, uh, I mean, you've shared some really powerful information. Thank you for your time. Um, I think some of this might go over some of our listeners' heads because I kind of feel that way about myself. <laughs> However, um, if you guys have questions, we are happy to answer your questions. Um, we're sharing this information with you not to scare you. It's really for you to be empowered and to feel safe and secure and to know that you have choices. And yes. there, there are things that you can do in advance to mitigate risk, regardless of what's happening in the geopolitical sphere. Yes. sphere. It's, it's you a, can do things to protect yourself, your family, your friends, and those that you care about. Yeah, think of it as a proactive measure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, you can see 60, you know, the, the MCT coconut oil has like a sh real shelf life of like four years. The other stuff has for two years. If you freeze it in your freezer, you, of course, when it, you defrau it, you've got to you you've got to reshake it and redissolve it. But it can last almost infinitely. So this is kind of like a prep thing, a prepper mm -hmm. thing. You know, you you don't probably don't want to use it. Do, don't want to have to use it to protect against radiation. But if you do, you know, you're going to uh, have you know it's going to be there and available for you mm -hmm. because a lot of times in crisis situations, you know, the mail does not get delivered. So oh, we're having a crisis. I need to get some now. We can't get it. To yeah, you. exactly. What's going to happen? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So having some of it before 
You need it. Before you have it. And uh, and just the three things you're looking for in any C60 product, whether it's us or somebody else. Mm -hmm. First, you want to get sublimated C60. And that's in, in sublimation is when a solid turns into a gas, then back into a solid. It's kind of like evaporation, the same thing. And you, you can purify C60 through sublimation in a sublimator. Basically, we stick the ash production ashes and the C60 in the sublimator. It turns them to... Uh, gas, they float across, it turns the C60 into a vapor, floats across, condenses in the sublimator plate, and then now you got 99.99% pure C60 is what you want. Sublimated 99.99% pure. And because what happens is a lot of C60 out there is actually produced through solvent. Mm -hmm. And they use methyl benzene, a known carcinogen, to make their C60. And so it's that's like you see 99.9% C60, which is, 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 uh, which is found in uh, something supercharged, C60. That the rest There's of also zero, a bunch zero, of other names. Yeah, exactly. 0.1% <laughs> left is solvent, toxic, a toxic uh, carcinogenic substance. So you want to make sure you got sublimated and 99.99% pure. That's the basic. Then the other thing you want it in the right oils, right? Oops. <laughs> That's uh, this is our magical uh, green screen, but we can show you in uh, something that isn't green, and that's our coconut oil. So all of our oils are all organic and uh, they're all organic, and they uh, and we actually it also one of the things you do after we make our products, we actually send them to a third party uh, verifier, so they test it for microbiologics and concentration, and we actually have a QR code on the side of our packaging where you can go to just scan your phone in, and you can see that our oils, you can see that our oils are organic. It's like certificates of analysis. You can see the after products that our product has been tested for microbiologics and C60 concentration. Hello, come back there. There we go. And um, and so you can be sure that our products are safe and effective. Great. Thank you. So, Ken, um, if people are considering stocking up, I want to be, you know, prepared in case if anything happens. I just want extra C60 on hand for my friends, for my family. You know the next question is, what kind should I get? What size should I get? What's your recommendation? Okay, well, there's two choices here. We have uh, C60 and avocado oil, and that has that's has a, about a little over twice the concentration of C60 than in our MCT oil. It's easily digested, so that's probably something you want to buy and use. Uh, now, on the other hand, we have C60 and MCT oil. And even though we have a two-year expiration date on MCT oil, <laughs> MCT oil actually has like a six to eight-year uh, shelf life. You said life. four earlier. Yeah, I said four. That's what that's what actually what comes out of the manufacturer's uh -huh. certificate of analysis that are their, their expiration date expected test. It says test after four. So it can actually last much, much longer. But we only do two years because that's just the way we do it. But uh, so, but if you wanted to put something like in a on the shelf in a in a bug in a dark, out bag yeah, you, or something, yeah, like yeah exactly. That. And you want C sixty. That's why you also make our C sixty is in uh, is in uh, amber glass bottles. Yeah, in, in amber glass bottles because light will degrade the product. Mm -hmm. So you always want to keep it in a dark, cool place, like any product. And uh, so that's but so if you wanted to like put this away in the bug out bag or in the emergency, you just get like C sixty and MCT oil. It will last almost forever. And it's also the MCT is useful as because it turns into ketones. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people use it in the paleo stuff because it, it, it turns into ketones. It can't. Or the keto it, diet. Keto diet for the keto diet. You can't. It doesn't. It's immediately burnt by your body as fuel. So it's, it has no. It's essentially it keeps you keto. It's a non fattening too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also if you're somebody who's concerned about glucose or blood sugar levels, yes, any of that the stuff. MCT is great for you too. So um, let's also, we forgot one though. Let's talk about olive oil. Oh yes. That's, yeah. that's another option. Well, that for some people that like olive oil and olive oil has about this, has the same concentration of C60 as does avocado oil. Okay. And so people use olive oil in like in their salads or uh, mm -hmm. as regular. Some people just love olive oil. Yeah. The reason, at, but when it first came, C60 came out, I got a sup, couple sources of C60 and everybody was using it in olive oil. Because that's what the science research had done. Because olive oil is is well characterized and it's cheap and easily available. But especially uh, in Europe, like you can get it anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas I, uh, you know, I have a sensitive digestive system. So if I took a lot of olive oil, like an ounce of olive oil, forget it. I, yeah, I'd probably have to go visit the bathroom. But I can do that with avocado oil. Okay. And uh, and so that's and it's also easy. It doesn't have like the really bite. You know, mm -hmm. it's olive pretty oil smooth. has a bite because yeah. But avocado oil is very smooth, super easy to digest, has great health benefits in that way. 
And it has a stable omega-3 and omega-6 uh, balance. Because a lot of oils out there, some with C60 in them, like sunflower oil or safflower oil, they, they have a really high omega-6 to omega-3 balance, and they're actually inflammatory. Mm -hmm. Things like canola oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil. Please don't take those. Yes, you shouldn't be eating those in your diet anyway. It's, it's one of the reasons why people have such a bad health uh, situation today. Those oils are, or especially nothing like hydrogenated oils like margarine. You should never, ever, ever yeah. eat those. So, you know, you want to stay with healthy omega-3 oils. And the other thing also is we don't put C60 in things like hemp seed oil or flaxseed oil or fish oil because those are really great in omega-3s. They're super healthy for you. Problem is they go rancid really mm, quickly. Yeah. So if we were to put C60 in hemp seed oil and ship it to you, by the time it got you, it could be rancid. In fact, anything like a fish oil, a krill oil, a flaxseed oil, or a hemp seed oil should always be bought out of the refrigerated section of your health food store. Never buy it off the shelf. Chances are, you don't know how long that fish oil has been on the shelf. Chances are it's rancid and rancid oil is bad for you. So you have to be really careful in that. Uh, and choosing that, that's just that's always buy those types of omega three rich oils off the shelf of your uh, off the refrigerated shelf. Okay. Not the refrigerated section. Do not buy it off the you know the standard shelf because chances are it's rancid. So the bottom line is this: if you are interested in the longevity or shelf life of oils, then go with the MCT. If you're if you're strictly prepper bagging for. Yeah the length of time that you can keep it, MCT. If you're interested in um, potency and also what is going to be easiest to digest for anybody that you introduce it to, then avocado oil. Of course, there is the other choice of our gummies. Now, they've got a shelf life too. And the only problem, what? There's only one left? There's only eight months on these. The, oh, yeah, only eight months on these. But the problem with gummies is they taste so good. You know, this is about two-thirds of a dose. So if you took two of these, you'd be okay. Three, you know, in extreme cases, but the problem is, is they taste so good, it's just hard to eat one, which is why there's so, only one gummy left in the box. Yeah, you know what our our trick is <coughs> when we're trying to um, avoid eating chocolate, or you just get a sweet tooth sometimes. Yeah. You know, just eat one one of those, or you can even eat half of one, Especially and it just morning. nips it in the bud. And because it's Your made of whole gravy. coconut oil, mm -hmm. you get MCTs, but you also get the benefits of regular coconut oil. So mm -hmm. that's like a booster in the morning. Yeah. So you get your C60 and you get like this, the, the a, a fast burn and a long burn of the uh, the benefits because uh, coconut oil is all saturated oils. Yeah. So that means your body can use them very efficiently and give you a lot of energy. I will say this, um, please, don't eat too many in the afternoon. Uh, I think my limit one day was six, and I was up really late. And uh, yeah, C60 has an energizing effect, and I would recommend if you're going to have your gummies, eat them earlier in the day, and um, don't overdo it like I did. Because yeah. nothing nothing yeah. happens other than I just had, I had way too much energy. Yes, and it just takes... That's why we always recommend in the morning to noonish, because it can keep you awake if... Uh, if you're uh, if you're one of those people that can't 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 drink coffee after dinner yeah. and go to sleep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know some people that can do that. So for them, it's not a problem. But okay. if you, yeah, if you got the caffeine thing going, you want to make sure that you've uh, that you take them in the morning too. Okay. Well, Ken, thanks for um, enlightening us uh, a little bit on your on your journey and your experience around radiation protection. Uh, if if anybody has questions out there, you guys can feel free to put your questions in um, in the comment section. You can also email us at questions at shopc60.com. Or if you have a question related to your product, send us an email for immediate response at support at shopc60.com. And somebody from our team will get back to you shortly. All right. Well, um, Ken, thank you very much for your time today. I'm glad to be here. All right. Thanks.